You've all seen me apply my foundation a million times, so I didn't think you needed to see that again, so I've already done that step. And next I'm going to apply the beak. I made the beak just by cutting out some paper, painting it with nail varnish, and then once it dried, I used eyelash glue to stick it down. Now, to cover up the edges, I want to use some Sculpt Gel, and with Sculpt Gel you have to mix equal parts of A, B and C. And it's a little bit like Scar Wax, except it's not as much of a pain in the neck to use as Scar Wax. And I'm going to do this step first, so that that way it has time to dry while I'm doing the rest of my face. Before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and apply primer all over the lid. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to go straight ahead and use my favourite black eyeshadow and we're going to cover the entire lid with a C-shaped brush. With a smaller brush I'm going to draw a really sharp angle on the corner of my eye and then fill that up. You want to take a brush and make sure that all the edges are neatly filled. I'm going to go over this one more time once I've finished the whole look because things can move around a little bit and because when I was filming it was quite humid things did have a tendency to slip around so I'll go over that once I've finished but for the moment we'll do that and then line the waterline with a black eyeliner I'm also going to set it with a little bit of black eyeshadow you just want to put this on a flat brush and then press it over the eyeliner and it should stop it from budging starting at the nose bridge I'm just going to take the same black eyeshadow and start drawing up all the way into the eyebrows and then we're going to do these little flicks and you want to try and follow the way your hairs grow naturally. We're not going to fill this in too much, we just want a little bit of a guideline. With a white cream eyeshadow we're going to start doing the little feather marks that we're going to need to do and this part's going to take a while. You can use an eyeliner brush or you can use a makeup brush, whichever one you prefer, but before that I'm going to be taking a mascara wand and just covering the outer part of my eyebrows and we want to follow the same kind of line that we did with the curve in the inner corner of the brows. Then with a brush, we're just going to start doing hundreds of little flicks. And this part is going to take forever, but it's relatively simple. Just outline the black eyeshadow, and then start doing flicks and layer them. Once we've finished with the white cream eyeshadow, we're going to move on to a brown one and we're going to start at the inner corner of the eye and you're just going to brush it outwards and this is going to go all the way into the outer corner and just keep layering this also right underneath the inner corner of the brow. Next I'm going to be using the grey and we're going to go back into the eyebrows and start drawing the hairs upwards. So you just want to do a flick in the inner corner and then keep bringing it up. Now if you don't have the products that I've used, it's fine, there's plenty of other alternatives. If you don't have a cream eyeshadow, you can also use just plain eyeshadow or even just eyeliner pens as well. With that same grey, I'm just going to outline the nostrils and then draw some little hairs coming out from it. Now later on we're going to fill this in, but for the moment we're just going to stick with the eyes. I'm going to take some dramatic false lashes and place them in the inner corner of the eye and then also some standard lashes and some individuals on the lower corner well, no, not the lower corner, the lower parts of my eye before going back into the white eyeshadow and then just adding some white flicks around the brown and the grey flicks that we've already done. Over the Sculpt Gel I'm going to take some loose gold dazzle dust and I'm just going to dot this all over it just to cover it up now, again, you can use whatever you have to hand. If you don't have a loose dazzle dust, then you can just use a gold eyeshadow or even eyeliner if that's what you have to hand. You can use whatever kind of product works for you. You do not have to use what I'm using. But going back into the nose, well, not in the nose, on the nose, <laughs> we're going to be using the grey and filling up all the nostril that you can see underneath the beak. And I'm just going to clean up the black eyeshadow, dot that same gold all over the lips. And then with the same brown that I used on my brows, I'm just going to line the outer corner of my lips and blend it inwards. 
and that's it. You're done. <laughs>